Annyeong! We had a short holiday with two kids in Seoul and we'd like to share with you our itinerary using Discover Seoul 48 Hours Pass. Our hotel is located near to City Hall. We started day one by walking to Gyeongbokgung Palace. On the way, we passed by King Sejong the Great Statue. There is a lot of shop renting out Hanbok along the way. We choose Hanbok Nam as our pass entitled us to one and a half hours of free rental. Here, you can choose a variety of team Hanbok or traditional Hanbok. Basic hair styling is free. You can add on additional accessories at extra charges. After walking for approximately 5 minutes, we have arrived at Gyeongbokgung and if you are wearing hanbok, you get to enter for free. We had a quick lunch at Hombon Egg Wrap and the kids absolutely love the egg wrap. Next, we use our Discover Soul Pass to redeem the Seoul City tour bus ticket. This allows us to hop on and hop off around the city. 왼쪽으로 1920입니다. Our first stop, Namsam Tower. Look at the breathtaking view. We use our Discover Soul Pass for free entry to the observation deck. Along a fence on the ground in the Seoul Tower, you will find thousands and thousands of locks symbolizing the love between couples. We continue with the red bus tour and pass by Dongdae Moon Design Plaza, which is also known as DDP. We had our tea break at Onion, Anguk Station. This cafe is well known for its Hanok style setting. Lots of pastry to choose from, but unfortunately their signature pastry is already sold out for the day. After our tea break, we continue our walk to Bukchong Hanok Village, which is not very far away from that cafe. As you're approaching the village, you will start to see a lot of humble rental shops. 
Bukchong Village has more than 900 Hanok houses, home to the most extensive collection of privately owned Hanoks in Seoul and also South Korea. We continue with the red bus tour around the city. For dinner, we came to a very lovely local shop. The kimchi is self-served and we had bulgogi, dumpling, bibimbap and kimbap. We continue our walk to Myeongdong Street Market. Kids found their squid game honeycomb candy. get back to our hotel, we pass by Kyeongbokong Palace and it is nicely littered. Day 2. We are covering Lotte Adventure World and Coex Aquarium today. See my little girl, she is all dressed up like a student. We use our Discover Soul Pass to redeem for the ticket. We have late lunch at Lotte Food Mart. We brought the kids to Toys R Us store inside Lotte Mall. Our next destination is Coex Mall. Here you can find the Gangnam Style statue. Inside Coex Mall, you will find Coex Aquarium. We redeem our Discover Soul Pass for the entry tickets.
Located in the middle of Coex Mall, Starfield Library offers visitors a perfect reading space. Started our day three with a walk along Chongye Chon Stream. Time for a hot full breakfast. We then continue to Guangzhou Market. Are you a fan of Korean ramen? I bought my ramen pot here. This store sells a lot of side dishes. I crave for the marinated crab. My first try of cold noodle. Surprisingly, it's very good. It started to rain, so we stay indoor and go to Lotte Mall instead. There are a lot of cute and pretty desserts at Lotte Food Mart. There are a lot of underground shopping malls on our way back to hotel. We decided to have barbecue dinner for the night. We proceeded to Jogyesa Temple as the Korean celebrated Buddha's birthday on the 8th day of the 4th lunar month. Started our morning with coffee, bagel and pastries. This is interesting. I've never seen a flower bouquet vending machine. 
We head on to Nam De Moon Market. This stall is famous for their dumpling and their red bean bun. We bought some. We also bought some topoki and fritters for our picnic later. Arrive at Hangang Park for our picnic. Here we can also see that there are mats for rental. The weather is perfect for picnic. We can see a lot of people setting up their tents and picnic mats. There are bicycles for rental too. We decided to go to Insadong before we leave the city. Joyce wanted a carry catcher, but the queue is a bit long. Most of the cafe and tea houses are located on upper floor. We choose this shop for their red bean bing su. It's time to check out and say goodbye to Seoul. We redeem for the free Airx ticket using our Discover Seoul Pass. Hope you have enjoyed the journey with us. I will also upload a separate video on DMZ Tour. 
time, so we will be back.